Don't be so arrogant. Learn English conversations. Eric speaking. Hello, Eric. It's me, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Eh, nothing special. So, what are you calling me about? I just called to seek your help. Oh, what's up? Can I borrow your car tomorrow? Why do you want to borrow the car? I want to hang out with my new girlfriend. Oh, okay. I'm free tomorrow, so come whenever you can. Thank you so much. But make sure you give it back to me by Wednesday. Great. Thanks, Eric. I'll see you tomorrow. See you. It's really nice to see you. Take a seat. Make yourself at home. Thank you. So, how's it going? Everything's all right. You know, I have a new girlfriend. Congratulations! What's her name? Her name is Ashley. She is hot on Instagram. You know, she has over fifty thousand followers. Wow, she's really famous. Yes, she is very famous. How do you know her? We met at a party. Then she asked for my number. She must have been attracted to me from the first time I met her. Ha! <laughs> you are so funny. I'm sure she's madly in love with me now. Well, probably. So, what time are you going on a date tonight? I'm going on a date at 7 p.m. tonight at a French restaurant. Wow, so romantic. Oh, I think I have to go. I will return the car to you by Wednesday. Thank you very much. Don't mention it. Bye. What? Lift maintenance? Oh my god. Hello? Yes, I'm Anthony. What's the matter? The clothes I want to rent? Okay, okay, I'll be right there. Rest assured, I'll be there before you close. Ow! Hey, you blind? I'm sorry. You got my clothes dirty. I'm so sorry. Do you know that this outfit is very expensive? It's just a little dirty. Just wipe it off. You even made me drop my phone. What if it's broken? Don't overdo it. I already apologized to you. You say I overdo it? Yes. Your personality is annoying. You are so impolite. You are a clumsy, stupid, and unreasonable girl. I believe that no one likes you. Uh huh? I'm very busy, so I don't want to argue with you anymore. You should feel lucky that I'm busy, or else. Hi, Anthony. <gasps> wow, you look so beautiful tonight. Thanks. Now we will go to a luxury French restaurant for dinner. Wow, is this car yours? It's so beautiful. Yeah, I bought it myself just two weeks ago. Do you like this car? Yes. All right, let's go. All right, I want to say something to you. Yeah. Today, I want to let you know how much you mean to me. You're like a precious, priceless jewel. Really? Yes, I promise you. I'll never stop trying. I'll never stop loving you. You are my world. Wow, so sweet. So, do you like this steak? Yes. Do you often go to this restaurant? 
Yes, this is my favorite restaurant. But it seems that the food here is extremely expensive. Don't worry about that. You know, people say I'm the perfect guy. Rich parents, good looking appearance, stable job. Well... Lots of girls try to flirt with me, but I don't care about them. They're not on the same level as me. Only you are the one. Um, okay. Good evening, sir. Please switch your engine off. Thank you. Yes, officer. Why have you pulled me over? Sir, sorry for the inconvenience, but we are currently investigating a case that needs to stop all cars that are the same brand as yours. Okay. May I please see your driving license? Well, yes, of course. Here it is, officer. May I please see your vehicle registration? Well, I, I think I left it at home. We are actually investigating a car theft. Since you have no vehicle registration, please follow me to the police station. What? Anthony, isn't this car yours? No, this is my car. I just forgot to bring the vehicle registration. Sir, I have just been informed that this stolen car has the same license plate as the one you are driving. I have doubt that this car is not yours, so you bragged about everything. No, no, Ashley. You have to believe me. No way. I can't believe I thief. I never want to see you again. What's the matter, Anthony? Eric, they said that I steal a car. What? How is that possible? I do not know. Officer, can you be more specific? Someone accused Anthony of stealing her car. Can I meet her? There she is. You? Do you two know each other? I bumped into her in the hallway. Officer, it was him. He stole my car. Be careful what you say. I don't steal your car. This car belongs to my friend. That is my car. I have my vehicle registration right here. Oh my gosh, how can that happen? I think there is a misunderstanding here. So it's just a coincidence that he's driving my car around, huh? Keep calm. Listen to me, I also have the exact same car as yours. Prove it. Here, look at this photo. Our cars have the same brand, even the same color. That's just a picture. I also have my vehicle registration here. I remember now. We bumped into each other. Probably both of our keys fell off. Then we picked up the wrong key. I didn't pick any key up. Since Mr. Eric here has proved that he has the same car brand and you two bumped into each other previously, I believe that this can just be a misunderstanding. That's right. But he still needs to compensate me. What compensation? Mental fee. Because you took my car, which made me panic and scared. Besides, I had to take a cab everywhere I wanted to go. Alright. How much compensation do you want? $200. Hello, Lucy. You look so sad. What's wrong? I just broke up with my boy. to me. He bragged about everything. Then he was arrested by the police for stealing a car. Wait, is his name Anthony? How do you know? He was so bossy. He bumped into me without apologizing. He even insulted me. Oh my god. We have mistaken our car keys by accident. I asked a kid in the building to give the key to the security guard and asked him to tell the guard he found it. 
Then, I reported to the police that I lost my car. So that's how it happened. Luckily, I broke up with him. A Beautiful Destiny Good morning, Yorn. Are you hungry? Wait a minute. I'll get you some food. Good boy. Good morning, Anna. Good morning, Jane. Hey, Yorn. You don't go to work today? Today is Monday. Of course I have to go to work. You should go to work early or you will be late. It's 8 o'clock now. I know. My company is nearby, so it's okay. When you go to work, remember to close all doors carefully. I always do that. Okay. Look at the clouds. It might rain today. Anna, I think you should bring an umbrella. Okay. Jane, remember? Lock all doors carefully. I remember. Don't worry. Okay. Goodbye. See you. Susan, what's up? Jane, where are you? My apartment? What's wrong? Yesterday you took the meeting room key, and you haven't returned it yet. I bet it's still in your bag. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you come to the company early? I need to set up the meeting room for this morning's board meeting. I get it. I'll be there in 20 minutes. Thanks. As soon as possible, please. This morning, my management board had a meeting. At the end of this month, I may get a raise. Anna, what are you doing? Don't go back and forth. Jane, I don't see Yorn anywhere. Yorn, your cat? Yes. Yorn, where are you? Oh, Anna. What's wrong, Jane? I forgot to close the window. Did Yorn jump out of the window and leave? I don't know. What should I do? Anna, I'm so sorry. This is my fault. How can I find him? If I had closed the window, Yorn would not have left. Even if I blame you, Yorn can't come back. I'm sorry. I will look for him around this neighborhood. I will go with you. Okay, let's go. Yorn and I have been together for four years. His previous owner dropped him in a box on the corner of the street. I adopted him. We have to find him. Tomorrow I will print flyers and distribute them from house to house in this area. I'll hand out flyers at my company. Since it was quite close to the area, Yorn might pass there. Now I'll post status to find him on social networking communities. Okay, 
Let's find Yorn together. Three months later. Come in. What's up, Jane? I'll cook dinner for us. Would you like some steak? Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Would you like some help? Yes, please. I'll wait for you in the kitchen. I'll be right there. It's been three months. Where are you, Yorn? Do you live well? God, he's so handsome. He will sit here? Oh, he's sitting here. Should I greet him first? No, I should not. But he's my type. Hi, I'm Harry. <gasps> Hi, Harry. I'm Anna. Are you reading The Alchemist of Paulo Coelho? Yes. Did you read it? Yes, I did. How do you feel about this book? Do you like it? I love it. Me too. Where are you heading? I'm going to the American Writers Museum. What's the street that I should get off on? You're going to get off on King Street, and that is the next station. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I have to get off. Before you leave, may I have your phone number, Anna? Yeah, sure. Here you are. Thank you. Can I see you again? Well, maybe. I can't stop thinking about him. Who calls me? Hello? Hi, this is Harry. Is this Anna's phone number? Hi, Harry. We met on the bus this morning. Yes, I remember you. It's sudden. I didn't have much time to talk to you this morning. Are you free this Saturday? This Saturday? Would you like to go to the exhibition with me? What exhibition is that? Book exhibition. Yes, I'd love to. Shall we meet on Saturday at 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. is fine. I'll send you the address. Okay. What do you think about the exhibition? I love it. It was a fascinating experience. There is a Japanese restaurant nearby. The food there is very good. Shall we go there together? Yes. Hi, Harry. Thanks for taking me to the concert. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad you like it. Are you free this Saturday? Yes. I have a friend that I would like to introduce you to. Your friend? Yes. I bet you will like this friend. Okay, Harry. See you. You have a boyfriend, right? <gasps> you scared me. Is he your boyfriend? Who? Harry. No, we're just friends. 
I don't believe it. We met by chance, on the bus. What does he look like? His hair is blonde, he has blue eyes, he's very tall. He is very gentle and kind. He must be very handsome. How do you know? Your eyes tell me. You usually like guys with blue eyes and blonde hair. He seems to like me, but I'm not sure. Why? This Sunday we will meet. He'll introduce his friend to me. What are you worried about? What if it is his female best friend? His crush? Or his girlfriend? Don't think too much. If he really has a girlfriend, just give me a call. I'll come to pick you up. Okay. I bet he likes you. Thanks, Jane. You're so lovely. He comes alone? Good morning, Harry. Hello, Anna. Yorn? Yorn? Anna? It's you, Yorn! Yorn? About three months ago, I lost my cat. My roommate forgot to lock the window when leaving the house. So Yorn jumped out of the house by the window? I guess so. We've been looking for Yorn for a month. But we still can't find him. I was crying so much. It's been three months, so I have no hope. Luckily, you found him. One rainy night, on my way home, I saw a cat sheltering from the rain under a tree. It looked pitiful. I brought Yorn home and took care of him. Coincidentally, he is your cat. Thank you for taking care of Yorn. It's destiny, isn't it? This must be a beautiful destiny. Anna, since getting on that bus, the only person I can see is you. At that time, and right now, when the sun shines on you, you are as beautiful as an angel. Thank you, Harry. I really like Yorn, and moreover, I really, really like his owner. Anna, will you be my girlfriend? We can take care of Yorn together. Oh, Harry, I agree. Topic. Who is that funny guy? The most common phrasal verbs in English. Description. Learning common English phrasal verbs is a good way to learn English. Let's learn common phrasal verbs with Jessica through this video. What time is it? Ah, oh, my back. John? Good morning. It's you? Did you slip and fall? Yeah, you see? Let me give you a hand. Thank you, Frank. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What are you doing here? I'm walking the dog. How did you fall like that? <laughs> I must have felt that your mighty dog was coming to me. I was just so scared that I fell. What is his name? He is a female. Turns out, you're a girl. Her name is Belle. Aren't you going to work today? My schedule only had one meeting today, but it was called off. So, I decided to take the day off. And I have to go to work now, or I will be late. See you later. Hold on, John. Something's wrong? <laughs> I guess you can't go to work right now. Why? Your pants have a small hole. What? 
Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. That looks so funny. What's more fun than going to work in those pants? Thank you for letting me know. I can't imagine going to work in these pants. Yes, not only that, even on the way to work, at lunch, or at a meeting. Yeah, I will be the most prominent today. People will not be able to take their eyes off my butt. That's so funny. I can imagine that. I'll come back home and change my pants. Hold on, John. I'll set up a party next week. Would you like to come? Yes, I'd love to. I have to go now, Frank. Okay, see you, John. See you. What should we eat for dinner? What? What did you say? What do you want to eat for dinner? Ugh, now I can hear you. I don't know what we should eat for dinner, but I want to eat soup. Shall we have shrimp soup? Oh, okay, I like it. I'll cook shrimp soup for you. Let's cook together. I will show you the best shrimp soup in the world. Wow, I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, you're the main chef, and I'll back you up. We don't have any more cucumbers. We should buy more. No, Lisa, they aren't cucumbers. Really? Oh, it's zucchini. It's easy to mix up cucumbers and zucchinis. Oh, I also saw a funny thing this morning. What was that? This morning, I was reading the newspaper as usual. And... There is a tall and muscular man. He was walking confidently. Is he handsome? Yes, very handsome. Suddenly, a cute little dog appeared. The dog barked. Guess what? The barking dog scared the men. Then he fell to the ground. Really? A muscular man is afraid of a cute little dog? Yeah, not only that, his pants were torn from that fall. Poor that man. That hole is right in his butt. Oh, it must be a toned butt. What does he look like? Maybe he's one of our neighbors. It's the tall, curly, blonde man with blue eyes. Oh, he wears black leather shoes. It looks so expensive. How can you notice that? Because it's expensive. <laughs> All right, back to our meal. Besides soup, can we choose something else? Okay. Hello, John. Evening, Lisa. Thank you for agreeing to host this party at your house. Not at all. I love parties. You have a big yard. Yeah, I love your dress. That's beautiful. Thank you. I dress up for this party. Hi, John. Thanks for the party. Oh, I really like your yard, John. You're welcome. I'm glad that you like it. Do you still work out these days? Yeah, I work out every morning. Are you free next weekend? We can eat out together. Nah, I'm quite busy next week because of my new project. Yeah, I'm afraid that I can't go with you. I have an appointment with my dentist. Okay, maybe we can talk about it later when you guys have free time. What are you up to these days, John? I just changed jobs, so it takes a lot of time to get used to new things. Why did you change your job? One night, I sat and thought about my life. Then I figured out what I have to do, what I want to do. I changed my job to follow my dream. Just give it your best shot. You can do it. Anyway, do you want to hear a funny story? 
of course. Everyone loves funny stories. This morning, a muscular young man was walking on the street. Suddenly, a cute little dog appeared. The young man began to panic. Really? Yeah, the dog is really small and cute. He and the dog stared at each other. When the dog barked, he panicked and ran away. Unfortunately, he slipped on a banana skin. <laughs> that made me laugh so hard. What a funny guy. Oh, that was not the end. He got a big hole in his pants from that fall right on his butt. It's right on his butt? Yes. Poor guy. He must be embarrassed. If I were him, I would hug the dog. Don't run away like that. Where did you see him? My aunt saw it on the street in our neighborhood and told me the story. He may be from our neighborhood. Maybe he's here right now. That's right. What does he look like? He is tall, blonde hair, and muscular. I think he has got to work out regularly to have a strong body. He also wears black leather shoes. It looks so expensive. John? No, not me. My aunt's description is quite similar to your appearance. Aha! It's you! No, that's my cousin, Jack. Your cousin? People often think we are twins. He looks a lot like me. Is he afraid of dogs? Yes, maybe. <laughs> Ah, somebody is coming. I have to open the door. Hello, John. How are you? Jack? Why are you here? I'm passing by here, so I'd like to meet you. Oh, you have a party. Yes. Hold on, Jack. Wait. Hello. Hi, I'm Jack. Hi. Are you John's friend? I'm his cousin. It's him! Do you know me? Did you hurt when you fell? Me? Yes. How is your pant? Sorry, I couldn't understand what you said. My aunt saw you around here this morning. No, this is my first time here. Really? Yes? So... Who is that, that funny, funny guy? guy? What did I miss? Let's take a look at the phrasal verbs in the video and see what they mean. 1. Turn out To happen in a particular way or to have a particular result, especially an unexpected one. Example, turns out you're a girl. Two, call off, cancel. Example, my schedule only had one meeting today and it was called off. Three, hold on, to tell someone to wait for a short time. Example, hold on, John, I'll set up a party next week. Would you like to come? Four, not take your eyes off something. To not stop looking at someone or something. Example. People will not be able to take their eyes off my butt. 5. Set up, organize, or arrange. Example. I'll set up a party next week. Would you like to come? 6. Looking forward to. To feel pleased and excited about something that is going to happen. Example. Wow. I'm really looking forward to it. 7. Back something up. To support or help someone. Example. Okay, you're the main chef, and I'll back you up. 8. Mix up. Confuse something with something else. Example. It's easy to mix up cucumbers and zucchinis. 
Nine. Dress up. Wear nice clothes. Lisa, thank you. I dress up for this party. Ten. Work out. Exercise. Example. I work out every morning. Eleven. Figure out. To understand or solve something. Example. Then I figured out what I have to do, what I want to do. Twelve. Run away. To leave a place or person secretly and suddenly. Example. When the dog barked, he panicked and ran away. Thirteen. <clears throat> slip on. To slide without intending. Example. He slipped on a banana skin. Fourteen. Pass by. Happen without being noticed or fully experienced by someone. Example. I'm passing by here. I know you live here, so I'd like to meet you. I have never seen it before. A group of five close friends, Leo, Jack, Lisa, Mia, and Anna, are living in two opposite houses. However, there is a very important secret among them. Let's watch the video to see what the secret is and learn about the present perfect tense. 1. Jack and Lisa are in love. Honey, I'm going to register for a painting course. What do you think? That's a great idea. But do you have enough time? You work from 9 to 6.30 every day. Yeah, this course is from 8 to 9.30 on Monday only. So, I think it is okay. Okay. If you are too tired, you need to let me know. Sure, no worries. I will be fine at all. Okay. Look, these are some pictures that old students drew. Oh my, they must be great artists. They are awesome, right? They have learned there for two courses. I will draw two of us. Aw, you are so sweet. Wait a minute, who are those? Lisa and Jack? Are they? Oh my goodness. How dare they keep it in secret? Lisa, Jack, I caught you guys. Oh my, Leo, what are you doing here? I just come over and saw the two of you. Have you fallen in love with each other? I think I need to have your explanation. What explanation? Everything is what you saw. Why didn't you tell to us? How long have you been in the relationship? We have been in a relationship for three months. We were going to tell you, but I didn't know how to start. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. And it's a bit weird when there is a couple in our team. I just want us to react like we are just friends. All of us. So, can you keep it in secret, please? Sure. Yeah, I will tell them myself when I get a chance. Okay. But promise me, next time, you need to tell me everything, because we are best friends, you know? Yeah, I promise. Two. Tweezers. Stop, Lisa. You make me feel the hangover. What are you looking for? I'm looking for my tweezers. Have you seen it before? I saw you were using it some days ago in the bathroom. Did you try to find it in there? Yeah, it is the first place I think about, but I found nothing. That's weird. Or in your bag? You always put everything in your bag. I did too. There is nothing at all. 
Hey, Mia, do you remember the tweezers at Leah's house? Leo's house? Yeah, it is similar to Lisa's tweezers. Oh, that one. We should come there to ask them. It has still been here since that day. Oh my god. Hey, Leo, why is it there? It has been here since last week? What is that? Lisa's tweezers. Yeah, she lost it and we found it here. Lisa cannot come here and put it there. Jack, Leo, tell me the truth. I haven't seen it before. Who has put it here? Uh, I am learning to trim my eyebrows. I want to look like a star. <laughs> I found it in the bathroom and wanted to borrow it, but no one was there, then forgot to ask you. So sorry. That's fine. I know how to trim it. Today, I have a lot of free time. I think I can help you to trim your eyebrows this afternoon. Come to my house, okay? Really? But today I am really busy. Don't worry. I will remind you about that. Three. Whose are these shorts? Oh my god. Girls, look what I found. What happened, Anna? What? Is that a cockroach? I will not come over there. I'm scared of them. No, come here. I found male shorts. Whose are these? Who has put these here? I don't know. They must belong to Jack or Leo. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. How long have they been here? I often use the bathroom, but I can't recognize that they have been there. I think they must have been dropped down here for a long time. They have laid in the corner of the wall. It isn't easy to realize. We should come to ask them. Hey, Jack. Leo, are you home? Yeah, come in. I don't lock the door. What happened? I found them in my house. You guys should explain this. Oh, that looks weird. I don't know. Come on, let's be honest. Jack, what about you? Hmm... I think it's Leo. I have never had pink duck shorts. Jack, are you sure? Yeah, remember? You told me that you lost your shorts after doing the gym? Me? Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. I used your bathroom after doing gym because Jack was using mine. Then I think I dropped it there. So sorry. <laughs> Then you don't realize that they are yours? Sorry, my memory's not good. <laughs> Keep yours. It would be best if you washed them immediately. They have been in my house for quite a long time, I think. Sure, thank you. I quite like that shorts. <laughs> Four. What is this party? Hey, I heard something. What? Yeah, someone is coming home. It must be Leo. Leo knew our secret. No worries, we can invite him to join us. Let me see. Look at that, Jack. He's coming with Chris, Anna, and Mia. Oh my, he has never told me about this plan before. 
Did he know today is our party? No, I haven't told him yet. I thought he is on holiday with his friends and just come back next week. What should we do now? It will be super weird if they catch us now. We should hide, I think. Leo will know what to do. Where should we hide? They are in the front of the door already. Have they seen us yet? Come into the bathroom. <gasps> oh my god. Leo, you are so sweet. Oh, I... It looks like a proposal day. Leo must have prepared for it carefully. I'm so surprised, Leo. I'm so jealous. No one knows about this party. Do it, Leo. Don't waste time anymore. Everyone, please keep silent. No. No, I think we have some misunderstandings here. What do you mean? I didn't prepare this for this party. I have hung out with you all this weekend, so how can I do this? Do you mean you don't want to propose to Chris anymore? Oh my, you make me look like an idiot. Chris, I also don't know what is happening in my house. I should ask Jack. You don't need to explain anymore. <gasps> Chris? So sorry, I think you need to hear our explanation. It's our 100 days in love party, Lisa and I. What? Oh my god, you have never told me, Jack. You've prepared for it for a while. Why didn't you tell me? So sorry, I think you are on your holiday and our relationship is still a secret. Okay, but you guys have to help me to explain to Chris about all the things happened today. And you should explain to me as well. We will. Everything is fine now. You guys should join us. We've just begun the party. A present for mom. Hey son, how are you? I'm great, Mom. What about you? How is Dad? He is great. He misses you a lot. Even I miss you both a lot. How is your business running? Not bad. And now I'm also planning to expand my business. That's really great. I'm really happy for you. Mom. Yes, what's up? There's good news for you. Really? Tell me. Thanksgiving is coming, so I'm planning to come back home. Oh, that is amazing, son. We can all spend quality time together. Yeah, right, Mom. Your father is going to get really excited after hearing all this. Yeah, well, after all, we all are going to meet after so long. It's late. I have to go to sleep. Love you, dear. Love you, Mom. I'm starving. Is the food ready yet? Yes, it's almost done. Coming. Whoa, you are an awesome cook. Thanks. Uh, Brian called me yesterday. Oh, really? Did he say anything? He said he's coming back home at Thanksgiving. Great. That will be this weekend. Yeah, right. And he also said that he misses you very much. I miss him too. I can't believe our son has grown up and has his own career. How time flies. Yeah, I still remember when Brian was 14 years old, he practiced parkour. Then he fell and broke his leg, so I had to stay in the hospital for many days to take care of him. We also had to take turns taking him to school. Yeah, after breaking his leg, Brian was sad because he couldn't go out with his friends. So every night, I always took time to talk and confide in him. Yeah, at that time our son was extremely naughty, playful, not worried about studying. We all were worried about his future. Yes, but when he was in 11th grade, 
Brian is more mature, more focused on studying. Then he got into a top university with the highest entrance score. I still remember that moment very clearly. Our whole family hugged when Brian received acceptance letter from the university. Now when I think about it, I still get emotional. Me too. Well, how time flies. Now our son is almost 30 years old. He's extremely successful. However, his work is far from home. We can't see him often. Anyway, he is also our pride. This weekend, the whole family will be gathered together. Hey, Sarah. You delivered an excellent presentation. Well, thanks for your support. I couldn't have made it without you. No problem. You know, let's celebrate. We have worked so hard for this project. Let's go out for lunch today. Great idea. Where should we go? There's a new Italian restaurant near our office. I love Italian food. Let's check it out. Hey, let me tell you, Brian is coming home this Thanksgiving day. That is really good news. You must be very happy. Yeah, right. I haven't seen my son in such a long time. The kids are grown up now. Yeah, right. What is your daughter doing now? She is a librarian in the public library. Very interesting. Is she married? Yes, she's married to an electrician. What about Brian? Is he married yet? Brian doesn't have a girlfriend. He is focusing on his career. Brian is a hardworking and smart worker. I'm sure he will be very successful. Thanks. You know, Brian is our pride, but I still wish he spent more time with us. Lunchtime is almost over. Let's go back to the office. Okay. Hello? Hello, Mom. Brian, why are you calling me at this time? What's up? Mom, don't be sad to hear this, okay? Okay, what's going on? My company suddenly has an important new project. I will have to stay for at least two weeks. I couldn't come back home this weekend. Oh, I got it. Don't be sad. I will try to finish the work and come home soon. It's okay. Remember to take care of yourself. I know, Mom. Now I have to go back to work. Love you, Mom. Love you too, dear. Honey, why are you back so soon today? I'm a bit tired today. Tell me what's up. I just got a call from our son. What did Brian say? He said his company received a new project and he can't go home this weekend. Really? How sad. I miss our son so much. <laughs> Don't be sad. Even without Brian, you still have me. We will celebrate Thanksgiving together. You know, the son of James, the neighbor, came back from Tokyo. I saw them go to the supermarket together and... Ugh, I am moved to tears. Don't cry, Helen. Brian wants to go home too, but because of his work... I know. Ugh, you know me. When I was going home from the subway, I felt someone following me. You mean you're being followed? Yeah, right. But when I turned around, no one was there. I'm scared. Don't worry. Maybe someone was already in the same direction as you. Well, maybe. David, your phone is ringing. Who's calling? I don't know. All right, give it to me. Hello, David speaking. Who am I talking with? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'll be right there. 
What's up? There's an emergency at the construction site. I have to come right away. Right now? Yeah, right. Okay, okay. Steady, take care on the roads. It was very dark. I know. Remember to lock the door carefully at home. Okay, I remember. Who's that? Who's that? Anyone out there? Speak up. <gasps> Brian, is that you? It's me. Well, well, Brian, I'm not able to believe my eyes. I miss you so much. I miss you too. How have you been? Good. Great, actually. Great. I'm so happy and excited now. Come in. So, explain everything to me. Well, our son wants to surprise you. That's right, I plan to give you a surprise. Does that mean you and your father have been talking for days? Yeah. When did you return home? A day before I called you. Wait, wait. The man who followed me... It's me. I'm sorry for scaring you. Oh, God. Since I've been away from you for such a long time, I want to follow your daily life so that I can buy you a perfect present. A key? Yeah, I bought you a new car. Brian, nothing can make me happier. I want you to have a means of transport instead of having to take the train. You sure have grown, Brian. Mom, why are you crying? I'm touched, so that tears come to my eyes. Okay, okay. Time for your toast. Cheers. Cheers. What do you mean? Hey, Tony, I'm here. Hello? How are you? I'm great. How are you? Never better. I was surprised and happy to hear that you moved to the U.S. I moved here for work. That's cool. Shall I order you something to drink? A hot cappuccino, please. Do you want some biscuits? No, thanks. Okay. Hello? Can I take your order? Yes. I'd like a cup of latte and a cup of cappuccino, please. Certainly. We do latte and cappuccino in small, medium, or large. What size would you like? Medium. Both of them, please. Okay. Can I have your name, please? My name is Kevin. Mr. Kevin, can I get you anything to eat? I'd like biscuits. Yes, you want to use it here or take away? I'll have it here, thanks. Your total bill is $11, please. Okay. Thank you. How long will you be in the U.S.? I'll be staying here for about two or three years. Great. We can go out more often. Yes. Now I need to rent a flat. What do you want to rent? A flat. A flat? Yes. You don't know what a flat is. A flat is a housing unit. It's part of a building with several units. Oh, you mean an apartment. You want to rent an apartment to live in. Does an apartment mean a flat? In America, you're more likely to hear the word apartment used interchangeably with flat. Oh.
Pardon me. I ordered biscuits, not this. Yes, these are biscuits. No, they aren't biscuits. Hold on. Kevin, you mean biscuits are small, flat, typically round, and sweet cakes made from flour and sugar? Am I right? That's it. They're cookies, my friend. Cookies? In America, we call them cookies, not biscuits. Biscuits in America are like this. Oh, really? How strange. He is from England. Ah, uh, no problem, sir. I didn't know that biscuits would be like this in America. Now you know. Well, let's try a bite. Anyway, there's an apartment near my house. It's pretty good. You can come to see that place. Apartment? Oh, you mean a flat. Yes. Great. Thank you. Hello? Hi. A friend introduced me to this place. I want to rent a flat. Uh, I mean an apartment. Sure. When are you looking to move in? As soon as possible. Oh, I like that. I have one on the second floor. How much is the rent? It's $1,500 a month, and we require a 12-month lease. Okay, how much is the deposit? $750. In here, each unit gets one parking space in the garage. Each unit gets a living room, kitchen, restroom. Restroom? Yes. Any problems? The restroom is room to rest after a tiring day at work? So, is that the bedroom? No, what, uh, you talking about? So, what's a restroom? A restroom is a place that has a sink, a toilet, and a shower. The place for your personal hygiene routine. That's a toilet. Well, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I get it now. Follow me and let me show you the unit. Okay. So that was the living room, kitchen, and restroom, or toilet, as you say. I like this apartment already. Last but not least, the bedroom. No duvet on the bed. Duvet? What does duvet mean? It's large, soft, flat, filled with feathers, and used on a bed. Oh, I think I know what it is. Yes, duvet is used to keep us warm when we sleep. In America, we call that a comforter. Oh, I didn't know that. Where is the comforter? It's in the closet. What do you mean? Where is it? Here is the closet. Oh, I usually call it wardrobe. I know, and here is a comforter. Okay, a comforter is in the closet. That's right. Do you like this apartment? Yes, I like it. But I'll think it over and give you an answer tonight or tomorrow. Sure. May I have your phone number? Sure. Here is my business card. These units go fast.
Remember to call me soon. Sure. One more thing. Where can I buy food or daily necessities nearby? You can buy them at the grocery store. Grocery store? What store is that? I usually buy them at the supermarket. Grocery store and supermarket. They are the same. Right. I should have known that. It's okay. You'll get used to it. It takes seven minutes to walk from here. Thank you. Hi. Hello. I want to buy trousers. Do you have them? What do you want to buy? Trousers. Trousers? Trousers are a piece of clothing. And you wear it over your body from the waist downwards? Ah,、uh, long skirts? No, trousers cover each leg separately. Oh, you mean pants? Yes, I think. Is this what you are looking for? That's right. Thank you. By the way, in the U.S., we usually call it pants instead of trousers. Pants. Thank you for letting me know. You're welcome. So, I'd like to buy sweets. What's sweet? Do you mean sugar? No, sweets are small-shaped pieces of sweet food made with sugar. Children love sweets very much. I get it. Really? We have milk, chocolate, and fruit flavors. Which flavor do you want? Fruit flavors, thanks. What do you usually call them? We call them candy. Okay, candy. Do you need anything else? No. I see it's raining outside. Do you want to buy a raincoat? Oh, you're right. Raincoat and wellies, please. There's. Only raincoats here, no wellies, and I don't know what wellies are. Well, wellies are long rubber boots that you wear to keep your feet dry. Oh, rain boots. Oh, rain boots. It's easier to remember. I like that. Your total bill is forty-seven dollars. Here you are. Thank you. Hey, Kevin, what do you think about that apartment? I have called the landlord. I'll see him tomorrow for a deposit. Great. I have some communication difficulties in America. Why are there so many differences in the same English language? I see. Do you know sweets? Is it sweet food or something? It's candy. Wow. Okay. Well, let's go out this Sunday. We will have a meeting to help you distinguish more American and British words. That would be great. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is. Self introduction.
Good morning. My name is Raymond Smith. It is my pleasure to meet you, Mr. Smith. I'm here for the 2 p.m. job interview for the customer care staff role. Nice to meet you. I'm the person who will interview you today. Please take a seat. Sure. Please tell me about yourself. Thank you for giving me a wonderful opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Bruce Harrison. I'm from Chicago. I'm 24 years old. I graduated from Chicago College in 2020. What major did you study? I studied business administration. What did you do after graduation? I have spent the last two years developing my skills as a customer service staff for Delta Inc. I have won several performance awards there. I love solving customer problems. Your growth opportunities there are so good. Why you're here? Although I love my current role, I feel I'm now ready for a more challenging assignment. And this position really excites me. What's your work style? I tend to do my best work when I'm collaborating with my colleagues toward a common goal. What are your income expectations? I'm looking for somewhere between twenty-five thousand and thirty thousand annually for this role. When can you start? I'll be happy to come on board with the team here next Monday. Do you have any questions? Can you tell me more about the job? You will handle customer complaints, provide solutions, and follow up to ensure resolution. Keep records of customer interactions, build relationships and trust with customers, take the extra mile to engage customers. I understand. Thank you. Do you want to ask anything else? I have no more question. So, thank you for coming to the interview. We will email the results to you in a few days. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be interviewed. I look forward to hearing from you. Did you have an interview yesterday? Yes, and I worry about that. Why? You prepared a lot for that interview. I know. So, what are you worried about? I'm not confident about some of my answers. What answers? The salary. I don't know if I asked too low for income. What position did you interview for? Customer care staff. What do you mean too low? They might think that my ability was only like that. Don't think too much. You need to relax. How can I relax? I have a friend. She is Helen. She will throw a pool party at her house this Saturday. Would you like to join me? No thanks, Mike. I'm not in the mood for any party now. The company emailed me. What do they say? I passed the interview. I'm hired. Congratulations! I will go to work on Monday. So, who's ready for a pool party? Let's go. That's the spirit. Hey there, beautiful. What's up? Hey, Mike. How's it going? This is an amazing party. Thanks. So, who is this handsome guy? Ah,、oh, he's my roommate. Hi, I'm Helen. Good to see you. It was lovely meeting you, Helen. I'm Bruce. Mike and I were classmates in high school. Mike have told me about you. I've been staying with Mike for over a year now. That's great. 
Do you like the party? I love it. This is actually my first time at a pool party. Hey, I have a way to get to know each other better. Can you tell a fun fact about yourself, Bruce? Me? Yeah, this will be fun. Well, when I was a kid, I loved elephants. I used to think of going into the jungle to live with the elephants. <laughs> really? Yes. Do I look like an elephant to you, Bruce? <laughs> After growing up, I realized that it was impractical. I can just go to the zoo to see them. That was a good choice. What's your fun fact, Helen? I can speak five different languages. English, Spanish, Italian, Chinese, and French. No way. Trust me, she can. You're amazing. Thank you. Now, my fun fact. Okay. I'm 24, but I look 14. What? Whenever I meet new people and talk about my age, they become very surprised. I know why they are surprised. Because they think you're 44 years old. Oh, that's true. Hey, that's not true. I need to say hello to some friends. Sure. It's been fun talking with you guys. Nice to talk to you, too. Enjoy yourself. I'll be back. I just saw my ex there. I need to say hello to her. Are you serious? I came to say that I have a new girlfriend. You stupid liar. Good evening, beauty. Good evening. By the way, I'm Bruce. I'm Sarah. How did you know Helen? We learned boxing together. Wow, that's cool. You must be very strong. Um, okay. So how did you know Helen? I just met her tonight. My roommate is her best friend. Hey, why aren't you dancing? I'm not good at dancing. I don't think so. Look at your curves and your body. If you dance, it will be great. Excuse me? You look very sexy. Let's dance together. No, thanks. But your arm have too much muscle. It's not pretty at all. It's because you practice boxing a lot? It's none of your business. Now you really look like a man. Hey, watch your mouth. My mouth is fine. It's your arms that are wrong. What are you doing? How does it feel being punched by a girl? A girl? You are more than a man. Bruce? If you don't shut up, I'll punch you again. I won't shut up, Mr. Sarah. So one punch is not enough, huh? Oh, please, Sarah. He's drunk. Good morning, everyone. Give me a few minutes, please. This is Bruce. He's a new member of our team. Hello, everyone. My name is Bruce. I'm 24 years old. I'm a customer care staff. 
I'm eager to learn new things and willing to work in a team. Hope we help each other. Nice to meet you, Bruce. I'm Linda. I have been working here for six years. If you want to ask anything, you can ask me. I'm happy to help. Thank you, Linda. Nice to meet you. I'm John. I'm the supervisor. Welcome to our team. It's my honor to meet you. Now we will meet the head of the department. She is great, professional and calm. I rarely see her angry. I can't wait to meet her. This is your boss, Sarah Elizabeth. <gasps> Hello, newbie. Lesson Summary 1. Self-introduction in a job interview The basic introduction includes name, age, hometown, education, and work experience. The shorter, the better. The more coherent, the more attractive. Example My name is Bruce Harrison. I'm from Chicago. I'm 24 years old. I have completed my class 15th in 2020 from Chicago College. I studied business administration. I have spent the last two years developing my skills as a customer service staff for Delta Inc., where I have won several performance awards. Although I love my current role, I feel I'm now ready for a more challenging assignment, and this position really excites me. 2. Formal Greetings and Introductions When meeting a new colleague, preparing for an introduction on your first day of work can help give you a strong first impression with your co-workers and managers. Example. Hello everyone, my name is Bruce. I'm 24 years old. I'm a customer care staff. I'm eager to learn new things and willing to work in a team. Hope we help each other. When a new team member introduces himself, a welcome message is a professional greeting you can use to welcome him to your workplace. Example. I'm pleased to meet you, Bruce. I'm John. I'm the supervisor. Welcome to our team. I'm Linda. I have been working here for six years. If you want to ask anything, you can ask me. I'm happy to help. 3. Informal greetings and introductions with best friends. Example. Hey there, beautiful. What's up? Hey, Mike. How's it going? With new friends. Example. Hi, Bruce. I'm Helen. Good to see you. Hello, Helen. It was lovely meeting you. To make the conversation interesting, we can tell fun facts to each other. Example. Can you tell a fun fact about yourself, Bruce? What's your fun fact, Helen? Now my fun fact? 4. Introduce a new person to your friends. Example. Hey Mike, how's it going? This is Bruce. He's my roommate. This is Helen. She and I were classmates in high school. At the company. Example. Good morning, everyone. Give me a few minutes, please. This is Bruce. He's a new member of our team. Hello, everyone. I'm Jessica. Welcome to Learn English with Jessica. Have you ever wondered, what's my English level? Do you want to know how good your English is? 
while I will help you find out the answer with today's test. Before we start the test, I will tell you how it works. There will be three dialogues that represent three levels in English, which are basic, intermediate, and advanced. Each level has 10 questions, and what you have to do is to pick the right answer within 10 seconds. Then count your correct answers to see your level. This is an example. Do you like English? Yes, I do. So the correct answer is B. Yes, I do. Pretty simple, right? Okay, are you ready? Let's get into the test. Hello. Honey, it's me. Where are you? At the station. I missed the train, so I'm going to be home late. Oh, that's too bad. Will you get back in time to pick up the kids? I don't think so. Can you get them? No problem. What time do you think you'll be home? Probably in about an hour. How was your day? Well, I worked for a few hours at the computer and then I got sleepy, so I took a nap. Wow, working from home sounds great. I can't take a nap in the office, you know. But I also did the laundry and the dishes. You can't do those things at the office. Well, that's true. So, what's for dinner? Chicken fried. It will be ready when you get home. I can't wait. I love your chicken. And I love you. See you around 6.30. See you. Hi, Jane. How are you? Just fine. Thanks, Bob. I was wondering, are you free this Saturday evening? Oh, actually, I have a family gathering in the evening that day. Why? What did you have in mind? I was thinking of going to the cinema with you. There's a good movie to watch. Well, it sounds like fun, but I'll be very busy on Saturday. What do you have to do? I have to pick up my grandparents at the airport and then help my parents prepare for the gathering. Okay, you will be very busy. But thanks a lot for asking me. Maybe next time.
That's fine. I think I'll go by myself. Why not ask Andrew to go with you? I have, but he has already made an appointment with Lucy. They plan to play bowling at the leisure center. I see. How about Sunday? I have no plan for Sunday. That's a great idea. So see you on Sunday. Sure. Hi, you look upset. What's wrong? Well, I just had an argument with my landlord this morning. About what? The rent? Yes, he told me that the rent will increase by 15%. Oh no, that's quite a lot. I tried to haggle with him but failed. You live in Hyde Park Corner, right? Yes. That is the most expensive place to live in England because it's close to central London. I know. I just didn't expect the landlord to increase the rent that quick. I think I'll move next year. To where? I don't know. Some place near the tube station for sure. I hate traffic jams. No one likes them. I prefer riding my bicycle to taking a bus. The tube is the best. Mind the pollution, Bob. Do you put on a mask when cycling? Sometimes. I can't afford the tube, to be honest. I think you should manage your income more wisely. Like cutting expenses on unnecessaries, such as dining out and takeaway. You do that a lot. Well, you know I can't cook. I can help you with simple dishes. It's a piece of cake. Really? That would be great. London is indeed expensive, especially for students like us, isn't it? I can't wait to graduate and get a high-paying job. Do you still want to live in London after you graduate? I don't really like living in a big city, but it's easier to get a job in a big city like London. Oh, what a beautiful painting. Did you do that? Yes, I have been learning to paint this past year. I go to classes every Saturday. I would never have guessed. It looks like you have been painting for years. Thanks, I'm flattered. Is it difficult? I've always wanted to try it but I didn't know where to start. To be honest, there are a lot of things to learn, 
but part of the fun is just doing it. I mean, it doesn't need to be perfect. Maybe I'll give it a try. You should. And it's a great way to deal with stress. Actually, I started going to mixed martial arts classes this year. Wow, remind me not to start a fight with you. I feel stronger and much more confident. I'm going to take more classes next month. Hey, can I join you next month? Sure, it will be fun. Hi, Peter. How are you doing these days? Oh, hi, Mark. I'm not doing very well, actually. I'm sorry to hear that. What seems to be the problem? I was fed up with my old job. I'm looking for a new job, but it doesn't seem to go well. That's too bad. Why did you leave your last job? Well, my boss treated me badly, and I didn't see my chances of advancing in the company. That makes sense. A job without opportunities and a difficult boss isn't very attractive. Exactly. So anyway, I decided to quit and find a new job. I sent out my resume to more than 20 companies. Unfortunately, I've only had two interviews so far. Have you tried looking online for a job? Yes, but so many of the jobs require moving to another city. I don't want to do that. I can understand that. How about going to some of those networking groups? I haven't tried those. What are they? They're groups of people who also are looking for work. They help each other discover new opportunities. Oh, I get the picture. I'll try some of those. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, I'm shopping for a new suit. I want to make the best impression possible at my job interviews. There you go. That's the spirit. I'm sure things will look up for you soon. Yes, you're probably right. I hope so. Hi, Tom. It's great to see you again. I've been away on business. Really? Where did you go? Well, first I flew to New York for two meetings. After that, I flew to Atlanta, where I had to make a presentation at a company conference. It sounds like you've been busy. Yes, I have my work cut out for me. It's good to be home again. What have you been doing lately? Oh, nothing much. I've been working in the garden these past few days. Alice has been away for the past two weeks visiting her relatives in Chicago. 
I didn't know she has family in Chicago. Yes, that's right. We met at a university in California. She was born in Chicago and lived there until she went to college. Now that explains it. How long have you lived here in Colorado? We've lived here for over 10 years. We moved here in 2008 because I had a new job as a sales representative. Have you lived in the same house since you arrived? No, we lived in a condo in downtown Denver. We moved here four years ago. We've lived on the street for four years. They've been the happiest years of our lives. We were on top of the world. Yes, my wife Jane and I love this neighborhood. So how long have you lived in your house? We've only lived here for two years. That's strange. It seems like you've lived here longer than that. No, we moved here in 2019. How time flies. I can't agree with you more. It seems like yesterday that I graduated from college. I can't believe I've been working for more than 10 years. I've been working for more than 30 years. I'm going to retire soon. Really? I never knew that. Now you do. Well, I have to get going. Work is waiting for me. Have a good day. You too. Glad to have you back in the neighborhood. And that's today's test. How many did you get right? What is your English level? Comment down below your result. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.